Here's a quick video to show proper linking operation of the ARCOM RC210 on the VXR9000 repeater. Now we're using a Motorola uh, M120 uh, mobile radio as the link. It's a uh, two-channel version of the GM300, basically the same RF, it's just it's only a two-channel front panel. Uh, we've got it wired up here. You can see there's a custom cable made. It comes off the uh, accessory port on the back of the radio. And that in turn wires into one of the DB9 ports on the back of the ARCOM. I've got a piece of foam here so I don't scratch up the brand new controller, so it's kind of hard to see at the moment. But anyway, I'm going to show you the operation here. We've got two service monitors on the bench. Okay, The first one is set up on the repeater. You'll see it's set up for full duplex. I put a signal into the repeater. Okay, as soon as I hook the antenna back up to the repeater here, that would help. Okay. Okay. So there's a signal going into the repeater. You'll see... Repeated audio into the repeater, 3 kilohertz in, we're getting about 3 out, plus the PL deviation. Okay, you'll see when I key up the repeater receiver, receiver lights up and the link transmits. Over here we're looking at the service monitor on the link frequency, 20 watts out at 433.825 with the uh, 136.5 PL. I'm going to turn the signal off on the repeater service monitor. Now I'm going to come over here to the link radio, which is cabled up to the service monitor here. And I'm going to turn the generator function on. There's a signal at 439.450 with a PL of 136.5. That's being generated into the motor.